I thought that my expectations were sufficiently high after the murder on Orient Express. However, I was mistaken. Agatha Christie could string a new rope, perhaps even better than the last one. Hello, fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester, and today I have this epic murder mystery book, The A.B.C. Murders, by Agatha Christie, the Queen of Mystery herself, and well, let's get right on to it. Aguil Poirot, one of the greatest detectives of all time, he receives a letter, a letter that says that a murder will occur in Andover, signed by the initials A, B, C. And sure enough, in, in a couple days time, an old woman in Andover is found dead. She's, her name is Mrs. Mrs. Astor, and she's alone in the shop. Dead. But Poirot cannot find any clues that will lead him to the killer, and he's certain to suspect that this is no ordinary murder. And then, a, a month later, month or so later, Miss Bernard of Bexhill. She is found murdered, twisted, and, well, choked by her own belt. Well, something is going on, isn't it? And of course, Poirot had received a letter as well. A, a letter that had warned him that another murder would take, would take place in Bexhill. And now we know that the murderer seems to be targeting people of a particular initial. A, the per, in Andover, Mrs. Astro, A, A. In Bexhill, Miss Bernard, B, B. It seems that this murderer is going in alphabet alphabetical order through towns to kill a person with a particular initial in alphabetical order. And we don't know who this guy is, but we have a feeling that he's a homicidal killer maniac. Meanwhile, there are little excerpts not part of the original Miss Doc. Um, Hastings, Captain Hastings article, well, narrative, there are little excerpts where this man named Alexander Bonaparte Cust is checking off a list of towns. First he checked off Andover, then he checked, up, checked off Bexhill. Something's wrong. Is this man the murderer? After all, his initials is... A, B, C, Alexander Bonaparte Cust. Is he the murderer? Or is Agatha Christie trying to trick us yet again? And then the third murder happened. Clark, Carmiacho Clark, named Tristan, a very rich man, isolated, and he is also found murdered. And then, finally, another murder happens in Doncaster, but this time, the police assumes that the murderer made a mistake, for the victim had not started, the name hadn't started with a D. And then finally, a couple of clues led to catching Bonaparte Cust. And the case is over. Or is it? To find out, read the book itself. And like always, your bookquester, Aaron the Bookquester, it is a mystery book, so I'm not going to give too many details, but let me just tell you this. An Agatha Christie solution? is no ordinary mystery book solution.